everybody, this is Galator from Galator's Gaming, and giving you episode 2 of my Galator's Armory video. So, my last video, I discussed my own personal favorite Ultra Greatsword weapon. Now I'm going to be talking about my own personal favorite, and in my opinion, what I feel is the best spear weapon. Now, to understand, the spears don't do massive amounts of damage compared to the Ultra Great Swords, Great Swords, and among other weapons, but they have an advantage in terms of counter damage, as in you're able to strike while your opponent, that when you strike when your opponent is attacking you, if you manage to make impact or attack, if you manage to hit them first, you'll actually do counter damage, which is quite extensive. And the spears actually are have superiority among all the other weapons in terms of reach. So that's a good thing going for it and it has a good thrusting attack so you're still able to keep yourself well protected and quite frankly it has one of my most favorite movesets I was actually um, I used uh, back in Dark Souls 1 uh, when the meme uh, the giant dad was um, a common build uh, using a spear, uh, the giant dad hated me. Any giant dad bill I came across, they, uh, they didn't do too well. <laughs> because they couldn't hit me with their sawai handers. But I could still get in, hit them with a spear once or twice, get out, and slowly chip away their damage. <clears throat> so, now that I have explained the strengths of the spears and the, some of the weaknesses... Let me show you the best spear, in my personal opinion, and my most favorite spear. Now, you're probably wondering, goes, well, you're probably thinking, wait, James, when halberds can be considered spears too? Yes and no. They're considered spears, but they're also considered axes, so the class they're in is called pole axes, which is their own, like, it's a hybrid variation of a spear and axe. But regardless, that will be a different video for another time. So, the favorite spear in my arsenal, in my armory, is the Lothric Knight Spear. It has good reach, it has good range compared to the, a lot of the other sp spears in the class. In my opinion, it's one of the best spears that you can get your hands on in terms of versatility. This weapon can be infused and buffed. Don't worry about that. Um, some people are probably going to call me bull call bullshit. So is there a buff? Yeah, I can just buy more of those. So it's really no big deal if I use this. See? It can be buffed and infused. But um, this weapon does look pretty cool with its buff since it's kind of like... It's kind of like uh, you... Sir, it's kind of like you... um sterilize the tip <laughs> that, that, that was just my own little attempt at humor there um, the move set is like any other spear it's a thrust 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 um, the weapon art is a charge not really much different compared to the other spears however this spear is truly unique because of its innate unique little trait it's this says so in the description long spear wielded by the proud Lothric Knights designed for long-range thrusting <clears throat> the Lothric Spear Knights are known for their steadfastness and the spear boosts the poise of its wielder so that essentially I have more poise wielding this weapon compared just not to compared to not wielding this weapon Another strength of the spear that I really like is I can have my shield up and I can actually strike with my shield. So I would actually time for my I would actually lure my opponent in so that when he's actually hits my shield, I simultaneously attack my spear, getting and if I time it right, I can actually get guaranteed critical uh, crit, um counter damage. And you can see the blood. Uh, you can see the poise boost buff, where all the other, where all pretty much all your other buffs can be seen below your stamina bar. 
this weapon, in my personal opinion, is my favorite in terms of versatility. I'm able to keep out of my opponent's range just quite enough to quickly jump in, do damage, jump out without taking a single scratch or taking very little damage. This weapon does not overly... Spears in general generally don't pride themselves in having overwhelming amount of damage, but they do pride themselves of having of having quite a bit of reach. So for example, let's say if you were to use light armor or lighter armor, um, comparison, what's a uh, light armor I can use? Da, 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 da. Um, shit, I'm trying to think, I'm trying, oh, here's one, here's some, brigand armor. We'll quickly put this on for a sec. So, for example, if you put on this brigand armor, my, I have less resistances, however, if you were to put on the, um, where'd I put it? Uh, ah, here it is. The Finn's Ring, lowering equip load increases attack. So essentially, you do more damage for going lighter. Um, for example, if you look here, uh, how, how do I show this? No, that's not where you see it. Where, where the hell is it? Uh, this video is going so well already. Okay, so as you can see, my damage, my R1 weapon, or my weapon damage from attack power is 148. Um, give me a sec while I go and put on the fins ring. Alright, so if you look here, it's what? What? Did they nerf the ring? Oh. God dang it. Not too long ago, the Finn's Ring used to be able to give you a boost to your attack. Your power, attack power. But it seems as though they nerfed it. Damn it. Well, apparently you can't do that now, I guess. But, um... This weapon does, uh... It does thrusting damage, which is actually pretty... I'm not... I'm, I'm, if I recall, thrusting damage is strong against armor. Like heavy-duty armor. <clears throat> I could be wrong about that. I haven't really used thrust damage in a long time. But I certainly happen to notice I do quite a bit of damage compared to, um... Heart, um heavy armor compared to light armor. But that's just what I've noticed. So... This is actually a very so in the end I love the I enjoy this using this weapon because of its versatility it can be infused it can be buffed it has a great move pull and it has a good reach so I can easily go in attack get out of there compared to a lot of the heavier builds and um this weapon does take some time getting used to like waiting for the right time to strike and waiting for the right time to, you know, back up. But uh, that's basically all I wanted to talk to you about this weapon. It's pretty powerful, pretty effective in its own right, as I said. No weapon, no weapon in this game is overwhelmingly powerful to, that outshines, it shines every weapon. Each weapon has their own strengths and weaknesses, and this is the weapon that I uh, find that share the best characteristics of the spear strengths, or the strengths of the spear. <clears throat> without and with less cons so um if you guys thought this video was entertaining and enjoyable be sure to like comment and subscribe if you wish it really helps me a lot <clears throat> this is galator's gaming signing